Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. The folks at Unity 3D has just announced the fresh release of Unity 2022.1 and this comes with some impressive features, updates and also bug fixes. Now this also marks the very first tech stream for 2021 which allows you as a developer to first try out the brand new features and tools while helping to shape up Unity development through your feedback. Unity tech streams are published twice every year and are supported until the next LTS release, which in this case is sometime in 2023 as the termination of Unity 2019 and 2021 comes to an end. Nonetheless, the tech stream helps prepare users for new feature adoption in projects that are still in discovery or prototyping stages. And this tech stream actually cuts across several parts of Unity from enhancement to editors to productivity, performance, all the way down to platform optimization. And some of the notable features you find across Unity includes the UI Toolkit. Now this is mentioned to be on its way to becoming a unified solution for editors and runtime UI. In 2022.1, they've also increased usability for tool developers with more UI widgets, vector drawing, API, property drawers, and property attributes. There's also the Spline authoring workflow, which is now available and works with edit mode. And this also allows programmers to extend functionality by developing tools and custom components to empower more of their team members. The Material API has also been extended to all material properties, supporting keyword states, HDRP's diffusion profile, and IES Lite, which in turn enhances procedural material usage. In addition to this, a new API for Unity file system that enables tool creation for asset bundle visualization and analysis has also been added. The Material variant now offers a powerful integrated workflow to reduce iteration cycles when managing large amounts of assets to improve collaboration. The Material variant is also available in both the Universal Render Pipeline and also the High Definition Render Pipeline. This new feature lets you create material hierarchies where children can share common properties with the parent material and override only the materials that varies. And in terms of performance and platform, the Frame Timing Manager is now available for capturing and accessing frame timing data and timestamps at the granular level. The Frame Timing Manager is also available in Editor, which allows you to target and adjust performance bottleneck in your project regardless of platform. The Frame Statistics Profiler and Render Debugger are both available in Editor and Player modes in all scriptable render pipelines. And finally, Unity users can now maximize VR game performances and also take advantage of the improved graphic performance for games while using Vulkan. Alongside with all of these are amazing set of tools that have been added to the 2D side of things. So if you're into 2D, there is just a whole lot. I mean, if you go over to the release notes and you take a look at this, there's a lot of stuff for both the shader, physics, 2D. There's just so many things and this is just beautiful. So the version 2022.1 is coming with huge updates and we've just talked about some of the key components you will be seeing when you get to check this out. So for those who like to read up on all of these release notes and probably you want to catch up with every other things that we've talked about, then links to this is gonna be in the description. So do well to check it out. At the same time, if you would like to take advantage of the asset store right now, which is doing several percentage off for different products, then you can also take a look at the link in the description and see that for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Unity 2022.1, the LTS version that is coming has a huge set of things and it is worth it for Unity developers to grab it, test it and give feedback to the folks at Unity and make this tool better. Tell me what you guys think about this one and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.